Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's power move, I'm gonna teach you about one of the most underused shortcut tools available in SolidWorks, and that is the use of the control and tab keys. Ow! So here we can see we're in SOLIDWORKS and we're looking at a fairly complex assembly. It's got a lot of different parts, but if we go into the window flyout menu, we can see that we've got several different documents open as well in the background. Now it can be difficult to navigate between these different documents using this window flyout menu. And this is where the use of control tab comes in really handy. So what we do is we hold down the control button on our keyboard and then we bounce our finger on the tab key. And as we bounce our finger on the tab key, the different windows that we currently have open become highlighted. So I'm gonna go to this bridge component, the single part file that's currently open. And I'm gonna go to the command file, make drawing from part. I'll just use my Model Monday Live default sheet format and template and create a couple of views of this part. Now I'd like to get back to the assembly. So instead of going into the window flyout menu and wondering, you know, what window is the correct window, maybe I don't have these named very uh, intuitively and, it's, and maybe the uh, preview isn't showing up or it's just kind of a pain, I think, to kind of navigate through all these or if I've got a lot of different open documents, this list gets very long. Well, instead what I can do is I can hold the control key and I can press tab. Once I press tab a few times and the highlighted window is the assembly, I can let go of tab, I can let go of control. Now that document comes to the foreground. Now what's really powerful about this shortcut is that SolidWorks remembers what you most recently accessed. And what I mean by that is if I control tab into the drawing and then I hold control and I press tab a couple of times to get to the part file, now SolidWorks remembers that those two were the most recently accessed documents. So I can just quickly press control tab, almost as though they're, they're being pressed at the same time. And I can cycle between those two documents because SolidWorks remembers that the uh, bridge part is in bay one and the drawing is in bay two. And it just kind of swaps them back and forth as they take precedent as, as the most recently accessed document. So you can see here, if I press control, hold down control and I press tab, the bridge is now in bay two. I let go, now I hold down control and I press tab. Now the drawing is in bay two. But either way, I can quickly swap between them. And this is something that we do very commonly in SolidWorks when we're trying to create a drawing of a single part. Once I'm done working with these or temporarily done working with these, I can jump back to the sub assembly or I could even jump back to the top level assembly just by pressing control tab and looking at that preview. Another really cool thing about this shortcut is that it doesn't just work in SolidWorks, but it also works in other programs. So for example, if I'm looking at Chrome, my web browser, and I've got these one, two, three, four different tabs open in Chrome, I can press control tab and I can cycle through those open tabs. So it doesn't just work in SolidWorks. This is something that works in other programs as well. I could also maybe go to a program like PowerPoint where I've got this older PowerPoint open and this newer PowerPoint. And you can see here, I can press control tab to cycle between them. So if I wanted to grab this screen capture from the older PowerPoint, I could control C to copy it, control V to paste it, maybe go back here, grab this text, control C to copy it, then control tab and then control V to paste it. So some really powerful functionality here from control tab, not just in SolidWorks, but in a lot of different Windows programs. So what do you think about that shortcut? Did you already know about that? If not, can you tell me some places you might start using it? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to share this video with another SolidWorks enthusiast. And I will see everyone in the next episode of Power Moves.